The day after his mother, uh, Britain's longest uh, serving monarch died, King Charles and his wife Camilla, surprised well wishes uh, gathered outside Buckingham Palace in London by getting out of their car to greet them. The following day, his two sons, Princes, uh, Princes uh, William and Harry, staged their own walkabout near Windsor Castle to the delight of crowds of mourners with whom they spent 40 minutes shaking hands and chatting. Amid a meticulously choreographed uh, program guiding the succession, such moments of apparent uh, spontaneity have stood out and suggest the lessons were learned after the royals drew scorn from the press and many ordinary Britons for perceived indifference when Princess Diana died in 1997. been many, many years in the planning. Um, by Monday, we'll have over 10,000 officers deployed. Um, the core of that is Metropolitan Police officers, but we've got help from every force across the country and indeed from some forces further afield. Many of the officers will be visible, but there's all sorts of specialists behind the scenes supporting that. And His Majesty the King today met many of them on his, on his visit to our um, control centre and the effect on the staff was immense. So, as I say, it's been, been north of 10,000. And just to give a sense of scale... Meanwhile, the head of London's police said today the state funeral of Queen Elizabeth will be a massive operation as Prime Ministers, Presidents and Royals come together on Monday to pay their last respects to Britain's longest reigning monarch. The Queen's funeral is expected to attract hundreds of thousands of people to London streets, echoing other important events in Britain's history, including her coronation in 1953, the funeral of former Prime Minister Winston Churchill in 1965, and the death of Princess Diana in 1997. US President Joe Biden and French President Emmanuel Macron are among uh, the most uh, the highest, uh, most expected high-profile guest from overseas who have confirmed they will be attending.